thank you for joining me again on uh, Mickey's uh, Munch and Learn. So are you using two databases, um, one for analytics and one for your applications? Typically, um, what I've been seeing is if you've got an application that runs on a relational database using OLTP transactions, then you know, one of the challenges you have is how do you actually get your analytics um, information out of that database because it can actually hinder performance. So what I see most organizations doing is setting up a second database for BI and analytics and tend to not be an OLTP database, but they tend to do something like OLAP, which is more suited for uh, analytics uh, information reading. And when you do set up a second database, what typically I see customers doing or organizations doing is replicating the data from the OLTP database into the OLAP database. Now, one of the challenges you've got is that the structure of the OLAP database is different to the structure of the OLTP database. And although you get the performance gains you need for analytics, one of the challenges you face is there's a hell of a lot of work to be done to actually get the data set from OLTP over to OLAP. Okay, there's a lot of mapping to be done as make sure it actually maps correctly. And then your application, you know, your BI analytics application and then read that data. If you try to reach out and use the OLAP uh, or the OLTP database, and it's just, it'll just hinder the performance of the database. So are you still doing this? Because if you are, there is an alternative. And what is that alternative? So if you look at what I just described, where you've got high volumes of writes going to a database from your front-end application, and it's a relational database, uh, OLTP database, then one of the things you can think about doing is actually underpinning your Oracle database or your non-Oracle database, either or, relational, with Oracle Linux, UEK, with something called Smart Flash Cache. Now, Smart Flash Cache is a feature that comes with Oracle UEK Linux. And what it does, it underpins as part of the operating system a feature that actually enhances the speed of the database, an OLTP database, and, or a relational database. So what this means is you can actually plug your BI analytics tool straight into your existing database without having to replicate it onto something like an OLAP or even setting up an OLAP in the first place. With Smart Flash Cache in Oracle UEK, we have seen speed gains between 700 to 900% in our customers. Of course, you've got to do your own benchmarking. But with these speed gains, it means that you can actually use your BI analytics application and actually just access the same data set. Now, the great thing about this is the applications don't know Smart Flash Cache exists. It's incognito. It just runs in the background. As far as the application is concerned, there's no modifications required, no integration required. It just works. The other great thing about UEK and Smart Flash Cache, it can be implemented on-premise. It's not a cloud-deployed solution from Oracle Linux. Not only can it be deployed on-premise, it can also be deployed in any cloud on bare metal if you chose you wanted to do that as well. So, if you, want, if you want to then think about, actually, I do want to run analytics, and I still don't want to run it off the same data set that's being written to, you can implement it in another way. Use a database replica. Most people who are running databases do replicate their data for high availability and disaster recovery. So in this example, instead of actually targeting in the main data source, you can now run Smart Flash Cache over the replication of data or the replicated data and actually BI Analytics can plug into that. So it's a really, really simple implementation. And the, like I said, the application doesn't really know that Smart Flash Cache has been implemented. So just to key points here, it's a quick and much and learn. Keep the same database means that you don't have to re-architect the database structure just to move into OLAP. It takes a lot of work out of it. You don't need to run two different configurations and data set and data sets. Your applications don't know it's there, which is really, really cool. You can run it on-premise and you can run it in the cloud on bare metal cloud. The great thing about this is that if you've got your data and you want to run BI analytics, a lot of customers are actually, a lot of our partners are actually taking that data and putting it into a low cost infrastructure like a public cloud. However, do you really want to be paying subscriptions on data that's just gonna be sat there that you're running analytics on? You might wanna keep that on premise, but you do want the speed. So this is a great way of saving on cloud subscriptions and actually the IO 
subscriptions and the data subscriptions that you have to pay in a cloud environment and just keep the BI Analytics data set on premise. And you can do that in one of two ways. You can either have a data replica on prem or you can just have a pure on prem whole complete configuration. So with the data set replication on prem, you can have your main data set in the cloud. So if your clouds are already cloud native, but you don't want to use the cloud for data analytics, then replicate it off premise using Oracle Linux UEK with Smart Flash Cache. Anyway, I hope this was interesting. Uh, if you want to learn more about UEK uh, on Oracle Linux with um, Smart Flash Cache and how you can use it for data analytics, please get in touch. This is Mickey, and I uh, hope it's been a useful session. Thank you.